What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be about how to get yourself out of an emotional rut. So we're gonna utilize a very important tool from Jerry, Esther, and Abraham Hicks called the Emotional Guidance Scale. So as you can see, it's broken down into 22 different levels. One being what you might call the most favorable emotion or the highest vibrate, vibrating emotion. 22 being the least favorable or the lowest vibrational emotion. And that's not just a woo-woo lingo when I use the word vibration. It's actual science that you're vibrating at a different frequency when you're feeling into different uh, emotional states. So you can check out the work of David Hawkins if you want to see more on that. But uh, I'm not going to get carried away with that. Let's talk about this model. So what we need to understand relative to the way we're feeling, relative to the way our emotions work, is that if we're feeling like we're at level 18 or 19, we're not just going to jump up to level one with some like quick and easy fix. The way that our emotions work is the same way that a car works to get from point A to point B. You have to actually take the roads. You have to actually make some turns. There's a step-by-step -step process. You might, hack, might need to use a road map, if you will. So that's what we're going to lay out for you guys here is this model, this emotional guidance scale is going to be your sort of roadmap. So to get from whatever feeling that you're at, whatever emotional state that you're at to the highest ones, which is, I'm assuming what you're desiring, it takes some steps. It doesn't go from 19 to one. It goes from 19 to maybe 16 to 13 to nine to six, maybe you fall back down to seven, then you go up to three, and then maybe you hit one. But a huge limitation that people have is that they don't understand that when we're going from an emotion like depression, which is right at the bottom, to an emotion like anger, which is also at the bottom, but it's a little bit higher up, that it's actually an improvement that we're actually raising our vibration, that we're actively getting ourselves out of that emotional rut. Now, you don't just have to take, uh, take my word on this blindly and uh, on faith. You can actually feel into when you're feeling sort of depressed, when you're feeling really low, and then when you're feeling angry. If you transition from a state of depression to a state of anger, there's actually a little bit of relief from that emotional state of depression. Even though anger doesn't necessarily feel good, it's a step up from depression. So if you're feeling depressed and then you're feeling angry, a huge limitation for people, a huge blockage is that they don't see an improvement there. So imagine if you're trying to get from point A to point B and you're on the highway and the exit ramp to get to point B doesn't actually have a sign. Let's say you're going from Toronto to Montreal and you think that that's the ramp that you have to take to get to Montreal, but it doesn't have a sign that says Montreal next exit. You're not going to be very confident. You're still going to feel kind of lost. You're going to feel like you're just sort of driving on the road and uh, you're still not going to be feeling good. It's the same thing with our emotional states. So what I'm actually proposing here is that yes, anger is an improvement from depression. And this goes for any emotion on this scale. It's actually a step up from the last one. So if you're feeling like you're vibrating at emotion number 14, I don't have them laid out in front of me, I forget what that is, but then you feel like you're going up to maybe emotion number 11, it might be a subtle difference, but there is relief from it and it actually is a better feeling state. And like I said, you don't have to take my word for this. You can feel it for yourself. If you mindfully try this exercise and, and feel into your emotions the next time that they're there. Or even right now, how you're feeling right now. 
So how do we do this though? How do we climb the ladder? Well, it's deliberate intention is what it comes down to. So getting yourself out of your emotional rut comes back to deliberate intention. It's consciously choosing a better feeling thought, a better feeling action. So that being said, this scale is going to be really important. It's going to be really helpful for you because you can understand when you're choosing a worse feeling thought or a worse feeling action. So if we're going from anger to depression, we can catch that and say, oh, that's actually, that doesn't feel better. I don't feel better. I feel more claustrophobic now. I feel a little bit more heavy. I don't want to go that way. Let's go back to where I was. And then let's go even higher than that. So deliberately choosing better feeling thoughts, better feeling actions is how you're going to raise your emotional state. The essence of what you give your attention to will unfold in your direct experience. Let's not take that for granted. That's very important. Think about it. The essence of what you're giving your attention to will unfold in your direct experience. So if you're feeding thoughts that are pulling you down the scale, if that's the essence of those thoughts is that they're they're lower and lower, they're thoughts that are you know, uh, apathetic or maybe angry, they're going to pull you down depending on where you're at if you're above those feeling states. And that's what's going to unfold in your direct experience. Angry thoughts are going to give you angry feelings. So consciously choosing thoughts that are more at peace. Consciously choosing thoughts that... Heck, maybe you're consciously choosing thoughts that are more angry than depressed. Like I said, relative to where you are in the scale, anger is actually a step up. And if you're above anger, anger might be a step down. So, you know, be careful with that. But that's the essence of how this scale is going to be really, really helpful to you. Now, A little word on the nature of words. (laughs) So this scale, it's using words to point to a feeling. Now, it's not a direct representation. There's no such thing as a direct representation. All representations are indirect by nature because it's representing something. It's not the thing itself, right? So you might see... Uh, The words that they use to describe feeling or emotional state number 13 and then see what they use to describe emotional state or feeling number 14 and say, you know what, I think 14 is, is actually better. It feels better when I'm vibrating more with the words at 14. I feel more at ease that way. That's because our perception of words can differ slightly amongst all of us. So it's not the feeling itself, right? They're trying to point to the feeling itself. So don't just throw the whole scale away because you think, I ah, actually, I think number 14 is even better than 13. I don't think it's the other way around. So they must be wrong. This whole thing must be wrong. <laughs> don't be quick to throw it away. I know when I look at this scale, some stuff, uh, some words point to a different feeling for me than what they were trying to point to because I think, oh, well, that word actually feels, when I think of this word, it reminds me of a feeling state that feels better than the one above it. So just a a little bit of a word to the wise for how we're using the, the words, how we're perceiving the words. It can differ, right? But the But you understand the point. And if you don't, watch the video again and listen carefully because it's not necessarily tied to the words themselves. The point isn't tied to the words. It's the concept of the fact that you're deliberately choosing better feeling emotions. So this isn't just how to get yourself out of an emotional rut. This is, uh, you know, if you're battling something like depression, 
deliberate intention is how you're going to get your way out of that. I know I've been in states of depression for a couple weeks, couple months at a, at a time. I know. Anyways, I won't get into it too much, but uh, I, I know because I've been there. And that's how you can get your way out of it. It comes back to deliberate intention. 